called uh, in Portuguese Samba de Orfeu. Uh, some know it as Black Orpheus. Uh, Black Orpheus. Samba de Orfeu. Samba de Orfeu. Quero viver, quero samba. A ti sentir a essência da vida, meu fatada. Quero samba, quero viver. Depois do samba também mesmo posso morrer. Quero viver, quero samba. Depois do samba também mesmo eu compro outra. Quero samba, quero viver. Depois do samba também mesmo posso morrer. Quem quiser gosta de mim. Hello, welcome back viewers, this is James Comic on the bike, and today we've got a super treat for you. We're gonna go in here at the Daffod Swerner Gallery. I'm gonna take a look at a wonderful exhibition of the work of Ad Reinhardt. Reinhardt has been one of my favorite artists for years. And, uh, only still photography? Yes, sir. So if I took still photography of every one of these things, it wouldn't be a problem. So they sent an intern to uh, run me off, but I uh, waited a week and I came back. And I am still on the lowdown. <clears throat> But we're going to take a look at some of these great collages. Um, I recommend that you use your pause button if you want to take a closer look at this because a lot of these things are so dense that you could spend 20 minutes, a half an hour looking at these. This really gives you an idea of the kind of uh, meticulous work that Reinhardt was doing. A lot of it is uh, pretty funny, pretty satirical. Uh, and also, he was making jokes about a lot of his friends and the critics and the art establishments and museums of his time. A lot of this was during the boom period of abstract expressionism in the 10th Street School. But he's really a, a marvelous, marvelous uh, paced up and mechanical guy. And uh, yeah, Raphael de Rothko, he's got a lot of very, very funny things. We get up close and look at some of these. The text is also very important. So, as I said, you know, pause now and then and take a look at some of this. The other thing I would say is there's a wonderful catalog that uh, David Zorn has published, and uh, I think it's about 35 bucks. And for anybody that's interested, they should take a look. This piece is great because it really highlights uh, Reinhardt's encyclopedic knowledge of uh, art history and world history, world art history, and he kind of is able to play things off against each other. These are the actual published copies. I think these are in PM Magazine or Picture Magazine. That's a great one. It's got an article about white musician okayed to play with a black band. So that lets you know the kind of milieu these things were published in. And uh, he was very prolific. Uh, I think that he worked for PM Magazine for about 14 or 15 years maybe from the early 40s into the mid 50s and produced hundreds of cartoons for them. They were giving them a whole page. This is a beautiful one. This is a very famous how to look at modern art in New York. And this has got a lot of his friends and uh, I actually freeze framed that and, and read the text. It's amazing. Also you can see that he's using a lot of his kind of iterations as grids of repeated forms and sort of doing versions upon versions of different things. Oh, this is beautiful. This is one of the sketches of his layouts for the tree piece. And you can see that they're stained and folded. Boy, I would love to have one of these. They're beautiful. And uh, I'm still kind of uh, worried because I'm on the down low and I didn't know whether or not the uh, guards are going to sneak up and throw me out. So uh, I'm careful. This is a nice piece. This actually made me think of an Alfred Jensen piece. This is a mandala and I believe this might be his last last uh, satirical cartoon piece. 
but uh, he really spent a lot of time thinking about these and laying them out. And uh, this final piece is really uh, quite extraordinary. Now we're going to look into the glass cases. Now there are some sketches of his paintings and some other layouts. There's a mandala. He did posters for the artist club. And um, a lot of the work, this is kind of the, the dichotomy he was always dealing with, which was being a successful artist and selling out. And he kind of struggled with that issue for years. Here are a bunch of his little cartoons that he produced for PM. A lot of these are political. So we've got Hitler and uh, Churchill. And as Hitler sewing Mussolini's pants. These are tiny little pieces that would probably appear at the uh, end of an article or maybe in the corner of one of the pages in the, the magazine. But he had a great, great touch. You know, he really did capture that kind of 1940s graphic style and there's a lot of them this is a wonderful piece you know his uh, one of his mentors was Stuart Davis that one had a deadline on it we need this by Wednesday morning 7 p.m. and then we got the rich guys and uh, various characters kind of reminds me of some of the figures from Monopoly well I got into the gallery and I kind of looked around and noticed that they weren't throwing people out with cameras, so I decided I would uh, take a sweep of the installation. This is a very, very important installation of these paintings. I think that there was a Reinhardt show about 12 years ago at Pace and they had nine paintings, and then about six or seven years ago there was another one at Guggenheim where they had nine paintings. And this show has got 13 paintings. So we'll just start out and walk around. Some of these are very subtle. This one is a little little higher key. You can sort of make out his, his cruciform figures, his forms. I uh, posted something on Facebook and uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Greg Lindquist, responded that this, these are so subtle that you probably couldn't distinguish the the areas with video camera, but if you look at them closely, uh, you can actually kind of get them. They also have a cordon around them so that I can only get about eight feet away. I couldn't get up and really focus in on the on the details. But uh, it is, it's a beautiful installation and uh, going in and just sitting on the benches is uh, almost like a uh, serene uh, experience for meditation. Now, these are a couple of nice ones. Uh, this one caught my eye because uh, I was looking at it, and if you look at the uh, upper right-hand corner right there, there's kind of a little, uh, what I call a fudge on his line. The, the matte black kind of faded into the shiny black in the central panel there, the central section. This is a very nice one. This is a blue one. We'll come back and take a look at that later. Oh, they're being nice. I'm, I was being totally quiet so they wouldn't have a reason to uh, look at me and throw me out. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. And uh, Robert Storr did a nice, uh, lecture there that's on YouTube. If you just uh, Google Robert Store Ad Reinhardt, you'll get a nice uh, view of that. Take another sweep and take a little closer look at this piece. This is one that's more of just the grays and blacks instead of a blues or violet. But uh, like I said, use your pause button because you could probably spend uh, 20 minutes looking at each one of these and uh, still be unsatisfied. But you can kind of see the see his six square format that he's using or nine squares. 
I'm going back. Here are his slides. You know, Ad was also a pretty darn good uh, photographer, but his uh, his practice was to go out and snap analogous photos of form. So here we've got buildings with eyes. Look like they're hat wearing hats. Eyes through a doorway. And he would take thousands and thousands of slides. One of the jokes is that he had a slideshow at the Artist Club and uh, started out about 8 o'clock at night and didn't finish until about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and everybody was uh, upset. So this has been James Com reporting on Ed Reinhardt's Centennial. Here at David Zorner on West 20th Street. Thank you, Kate. Pois do samba também me morreu contra o outro. Quero samba, quero viver. Pois do samba também me não posso morrer. Quero viver, quero samba. Quero samba, um samba depois do seu um outro samba, mais um outro samba. Eu gosto mais de uma samba. Mas tem um certo de samba Quem tota, quem quiser Gostar de mim Se quiser Vai ser assim Quero samba Quero viver Depois do samba Também me morreu contra o mundial Quero samba Quero viver Depois do samba Também me amou Posso morrer Posso Thank you.